Hi everyone, welcome back to Patty Pucka Pouring Art. Today I'm going to be doing another pearl pour. And it's this is an 18 by 24 canvas. And let me show you one I did um, a prior video. It dried really nice, this one. So I'm going to use the same recipe as I did with this one. So let's go over my mixture. So this is my base color, and this is one part Artist Loft White, a half a part Satin Bare Enamel, just house paint that I've had laying around, um, a half a part Water, and one part Liquitex, pouring medium. Now, you have to adjust the water depending on the thickness of your satin enamel or whatever paint you're using. So it, it barely leaves a mound. It sinks very quick. Um, yeah, I hope that's thin enough. I mean, even if you let it set for 10 minutes, it gets thicker. And I might have to add a little bit more water. You don't want it sinking completely in when you hold it up about five inches, but um, yeah, you don't want it to really mound up either. So let's go over the colors real quick. I'm going to be doing a flip cup, very minimal, a lot of negative space. So this pretty color green is Color Shift Green Flash and Amsterdam, what's this, green, olive green light. These two together. This pretty blue color is Amsterdam Turquoise. And this blue, blue, super dark, is Golden Primary Cyan and Creative Inspirations Payne's Gray. Those two. And then this pretty magenta pink is Basics Quinacridone Magenta. Mm -hmm. And PBO Studio, what color is this? Oh, this is the violet blue, iridescent. I don't know why they call it that, it looks pink to me, but anyway, it really does give the paint a very translucent, pretty, I don't know, you probably can't see that, pretty iridescent look to it. All right, um, I think that's it. And this also gives a nice iridescent to the green. Um, my paints, my colors are mixed with 50% Floetrol and 50% Liquitex pouring medium. And then water to the right consistency. I really can't tell you how much um, because all my paints are different consistencies to begin with. But what I try to do is I try to match my consistency with my colors to the base. Um, I think one reason I do that is because when I tilt, I want the paints to move all at the same time. So it's a good idea to do that test. Um, let me see if I can... Well, it's sort of messed up, but you know, the paper test where you pour the drips on and you let them drip down give you an idea. You know, you can't make them exact, but it will really help. <clears throat> I have found. It works for me. So, let me go ahead and check my white again and do one last check. It's been about 10 minutes and I'll be right back with you and we'll flood this. I hope I have enough paint and we'll get going. Okay, again I'm going to go over my recipe. I think I think I said Liquitex in there, but just in case I didn't, one part Alt uh, Artist Loft White, a half a part Satin Bare Enamel. Uh, the color on that is Angel Food, so it's not a very stark white. It has a little tinge of beige in there, you can probably see. A half a part Water, one part Liquitex Pouring Medium, and then thin as necessary. So I keep adding water to this. So let's 
let's do this. I want to make sure I have enough paint. So I'm going to just pour it here. Sides here. to waste but I'm gonna end up with a lot on the canvas here ahead and tilt it the other way now because I sort of want to even out I don't want the bulk of the paint just on the bottom all right I think that's good size we can get later we have paint left Pesky corners, right? Always. I did that because it'll bring the, any bubbles up. All right, look at it from the side. Do a flip cup in this. Probably two layers. I'm going to start with Payne's Gray. I'm going to use a lot of that color. And turquoise. Green. The magenta. all of that. God, I hope it didn't. I have so much water in there, I can't believe it, but it seems like that dark color is thicker. I guess we'll see. Green. Okay, there it is. So it's only that, it's only that full. Okay, so I'm just gonna do, stay in the middle. I think I'm going to go ahead and mess it up a little bit. I'm going to stick through it. that over here too. No, I'm gonna do it. I don't want to 
go down so deep. All right, let's get tilting. like an area right here that really wants to come off so I'm going to help it along or at least even out <clears throat> Now I just wait. I see some clouds I'm getting here.
I put more paint on there than I really wanted to also. I really wanted a more minimalistic painting. But this will be good too. And my last painting I did with this recipe dried just as I saw it. So <clears throat> that's also a little issue with this technique that it keeps forming and then they get distorted and it doesn't look anything like the last time you saw it. So this is one of the harder techniques. I think. It's really a combination of tilting it fast enough so the pearls stay round, <clears throat> making sure you get enough paint off the canvas. Um, yeah. And during all that, you're trying to keep a composition that you like. Making sure you get the sides. Because that first time you tilt, the white goes over. But then the second time you tilt, <clears throat> excuse me, you have another layer of white that goes over that. So if you don't get all that evenly, um, it's going to show drips on the sides from that second layer of white, if that makes sense. I don't know. So I'm going to try to catch that before it dries, even though the paint's really thin. <clears throat> I've still had it show up. I'm going to have to look on that side. I can't pick it up. Okay, well I'll bring you back in about 30 minutes and we'll see what, what it does. Okay, here it is. I think it's done. It's been about an hour. Lots of pearls. I hope it dries like this. It's uh, getting a lot of... I hope they don't start going real wonky, the cells. Looks like around in here. I hope they don't get any wonkier and you got this random spot right there that I don't like I don't mind these <clears throat> got some clouds here so up here this is the first side I tilted this is where I scraped <clears throat> where I went through with my palette knife you could see that's filled in so what does that tell me maybe I need to dump more paint off and I think maybe my paints were a little too thin anyway if you enjoyed this video and learned anything if you do this recipe please comment let me see your work Thanks so much for watching. Appreciate all of you. Please subscribe. Check out below all my social sites. Take care. Keep on pouring. Bye.